Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this uh, solar powered Raspberry Pi using 18650 cells and a power bank uh, module that I bought from eBay. So, here's kind of an overlook of all the materials. Here's uh, the lid. I'm going to put the solar panel on top, kind of like this, put a couple holes through it, and then um, the 18650 cells of switch to power it all up. Uh, I'm going to have to put this through the sidewall or something. Uh, I'm not sure if I can make it light up yet or not. You know, probably to show activity or something. I don't know. I'll come up with something later. Um, I got this blue case at Rite Aid for about a dollar, which I think was great. Um, total cost was probably 35 bucks for the Raspberry Pi, $3 for the battery bank and the charging circuit and about I don't know three bucks for the batteries um, oh and then the switch about five bucks so it's a simple on off switch and it lights up it's got a bulkhead type mount on it so it'll just go through the side of this plastic uh, enclosure there um, okay so the first thing I have to do is you know of course mark out a hole where the switch is gonna kinda go through and then this is going to be the uh, charging circuit uh, sorry I can't focus the camera properly but basically this is going to be what I bought off of eBay for like four bucks it has inputs for the solar panel and then two outputs one's two amp one's one amp it's auto on auto off um, and then this will also be able to power the USB I'm sorry the uh, Raspberry Pi directly uh, with a small, you know, three inch USB cable mail, or yeah, mail to mail, and then I'll hook that up to these two 18650 cells. Um, so the solar panel will charge these, and then that'll power the Raspberry Pi. And then, as you can see here, I already drilled out the hole for the switch to go through. Um, it's pretty easy, just use a drill. Um, and then, I after I marked it with the Sharpie, it was yeah, pretty easy. It's plastic. Um, just have to finish it off with a little bit of sandpaper to get all those like rough edges so the switch uh, sits flush there uh, on the inside and outside uh, try not to scratch the you know the whole box um, but anyways let's uh, did a quick test fit here So I know I kind of skipped a lot on you guys, but everything was pretty plug and play, you know, plus to plus, minus to minus. Uh, but once I got all that figured out, um, just hooked everything up together using, like I said, USB to USB cables, uh, hooked up to the two batteries and 
parallel or series, I'm not sure. And since um, since the charging circuit was auto on, auto off, uh, basically once the Raspberry Pi turned off, um, you know the it would stop drawing as much current, um, or the battery would die out and it would turn off. Uh, but it's solar, so it would recharge on its own pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.